Welcome again to Top Notch Kids TV. Today we are going to dive into The Bridge Between Worlds, a heartwarming animated tale that tells the story of two boys from different backgrounds who form an unbreakable bond. Set in a vibrant city where a river separates the wealthy from the modest, this enchanting story explores themes of friendship, community, and the true meaning of wealth. Join Max and Sam on their unforgettable journey of discovery and connection, beautifully illustrated with dynamic and engaging imagery that captures the essence of each scene. In a bustling city where the old and new intertwine seamlessly, there existed two very different worlds. On one side of the river, grand mansions with sprawling gardens lined the streets. The people who lived there had everything they could ever want. On the other side, small, modest homes stood shoulder to shoulder, their paint chipped and their yards full of children's laughter and shared dreams. It was in this city that our story unfolds a tale of two boys from these contrasting worlds. The sun was just beginning to rise, casting a golden glow over the city, when 12-year-old Max woke up in his grand bedroom. The room was filled with everything a boy his age could desire, shelves of books, toys, and gadgets. But today, something felt different. Max had an insatiable curiosity about the world beyond his mansion's gates. He had heard stories of the other side of the river, but had never ventured there himself. On the other side of the river, a boy named Sam was also waking up. His room was much smaller, shared with his younger brother, and filled with hand-me-downs and homemade toys. Despite the lack of material wealth, Sam's world was rich with love, laughter, and community. Today, he felt a sense of adventure as well, as if something exciting was about to happen. Max decided that today was the day he would cross the bridge and explore the other side of the river. He quickly dressed, sneaked past the housekeeper, and made his way to the bridge. Meanwhile, Sam had finished his chores and was heading to the market to help his mother sell vegetables. As fate would have it, the boys arrived at the bridge at the same time. Max and Sam's eyes met, and despite their differences, they felt an instant connection. Max, with his neatly combed hair and designer clothes, and Sam, with his tousled hair and patched up jeans, seemed like they came from different planets. But a shared sense of adventure and curiosity bridged the gap between them. Hi, I'm Max, said the wealthy boy, extending his hand with a friendly smile. Hey, I'm Sam, the other boy replied, shaking Max's hand with a firm grip. Are you from around here? Sort of. Max replied, looking a bit sheepish. I live on the other side of the river. I've never been over here before. Sam's eyes widened. Really? Well, welcome to our side. Do you want to see the market? It's pretty cool. Max nodded eagerly, and the two boys set off together, chatting like old friends. As they walked through the narrow streets lined with colorful stalls, Max was amazed by the vibrancy and energy of the market. Vendors shouted out their wares, children ran around playing games, and the air was filled with the delicious smell of street food. Max's senses were overwhelmed in the best possible way. Sam led Max to his mother's vegetable stand mom, this is Max. He's visiting from the other side of the river. Sam's mother, a kind woman with warm eyes and a bright smile, welcomed Max. Hello, Max. It's nice to meet you. Sam, why don't you show Max around while I finish up here? The boys wandered from stall to stall, sampling treats and marveling at the various goods. Max bought a colorful handmade bracelet from an elderly woman who told him it was a charm for good luck. He slipped it on his wrist, feeling a connection to this new world he was discovering. 
As they explored, Max noticed how everyone in the market seemed to know each other. People stopped to chat, share stories, and help one another. It was a stark contrast to the isolated, quiet life he knew in his mansion. Do you like living here? Max asked, genuinely curious. Sam nodded enthusiastically. Yeah, it's great. Everyone here looks up for each other. We might not have much, but we have each other, and that's what matters. Max felt a pang of envy. Despite his wealth, he realized he didn't have the same sense of community that Sam enjoyed. He wondered what it would be like to be a part of something so vibrant and connected. As the day turned to evening, Max realized he needed to head back home. I should go, he said reluctantly. My parents will be wondering where I am. Sam looked disappointed but understood. Okay, but you should come back tomorrow. There's so much more to see. Max smiled. I'd like that. Thanks for showing me around, Sam. The boys parted ways, and Max made his way back across the bridge, feeling a mix of excitement and apprehension. When he arrived home, his parents were indeed worried, but Max was too full of his day's adventures to notice their scolding. That night, Max lay in bed, thinking about Sam and the market. He knew he had to go back. The next morning, he woke up early and headed straight for the bridge. Sam was waiting for him on the other side, a big grin on his face. I knew you'd come back. The boys spent the day exploring more of the neighborhood. Sam introduced Max to his friends, and they played games, laughed, and shared stories. Max felt a sense of belonging he had never experienced before. As the sun began to set, Sam's family invited Max to stay for dinner. It was a simple meal, but the warmth and love in the room made it the best meal Max had ever had. They shared stories, laughed, and even sang a few songs. Max felt a lump in his throat as he realized how much he had come to care for Sam and his family. Thank you for having me, he said sincerely. I've never felt so at home. Sam's mother smiled and patted his hand. You're always welcome here. Max's family isn't just about blood, it's about the people who care about you. The days turned into weeks, and Max continued to visit Sam and his family. He learned so much from them about community, friendship, and the simple joys of life. In return, he shared his world with them, bringing books, games, and even helping with chores. One day, Sam confided in Max about a dream he had. I want to start a community center here, a place where kids can learn, play, and grow. But I don't know how to make it happen. Max's eyes lit up. I can help with that. My parents know a lot of people who could support a project like this. Let's work together. The boys set to work, combining their strengths and resources. Max talked to his parents, who were initially hesitant but eventually came around when they saw how passionate their son was. They helped connect the boys with people who could fund and support the community center. Sam's family supplies, and sports equipment. There were classes, workshops, and activities for children of all ages. The center became a hub of learning, creativity, and friendship. On the opening day, Max and Sam stood side by side, beaming with pride. 
they had built something amazing together, a bridge between their two worlds. Max's parents were there, too, looking around with newfound appreciation for the vibrant community they had helped support. They had come to see that wealth wasn't just about money, but about connections, love, and shared experiences. As the children poured into the center, laughing and playing, Max and Sam knew they had done something truly special. They had created a place where all children, regardless of their background, could come together and grow. Years passed, and the community center thrived. Max and Sam grew up, but their friendship remained as strong as ever. They continued to work together, expanding the center and helping even more people. Max went on to study community development, inspired by his experiences with Sam and the neighborhood. Sam became a teacher, dedicated to giving back to the community that had given him so much. They never forgot the lessons they had learned from each other, that true wealth comes from the heart, and that bridges built from love and understanding can connect even the most different of worlds. And so, in the bustling city where the old and new intertwined, two boys from different worlds showed that friendship and community could create magic, changing lives forever. They proved that when you open your heart and reach out to others, you can build a bridge strong enough to span any divide. Thanks for watching this fun and interesting story. Please subscribe to our channel. Until we meet again, bye for now.